everyone. Uh, I hope you are enjoying the show. Um, this is my first speech, so it will be a little bit weird. Uh, I was uh, asked to speak about uh, something from my uh, field. We are uh, software providers for poker, so I was uh, uh, I plan to speak about uh, anti-bot strategies in this uh, world of online poker because I think uh, that is uh, probably the, the biggest threat to the to this game in the in this uh, in the future and. Uh, it might be also the biggest problem for the esports, uh, since uh, bots are getting better there, even so. Uh, a few years ago, in 2017, uh, the bo one, one of the bots uh, was able to, be, to win against the real poker professional player in a heads-up match, which means only only two of them were playing, and after. A few years, uh, they even managed uh, to make a, such a good bot th that can beat the six or the five different professional players. And uh, in the same year, they managed to to make the, the team of bots of five bots who can win in the multi multiplayer game. And that was even harder thing to achieve than the making a bot beating in the poker. So uh, currently players are probably uh, scared of, of the things, the fact that they might be playing against the bots. So I think the, the online poker providers should have a, should, should show some efforts to, to stop the bots. And, uh, uh, excuse me, can I get a mic from here? This one? Oh. Should it? Yeah, it's working now. Oh, it's much better now. Oh. Uh, sorry. So, uh, who is using the bots? The bots are usually used by uh, small sites. But then they are used by the sites, not by the by the, somebody else. They want to show the bigger number of players. They want to present their their rooms are more full with players because uh, in the poker world, it is important that you have a lot of players when the when the new player comes and when the new player joins. Uh, but that's one of the problem. But the other problem is on the big sites, uh, it makes sense for people to program a bot who will be playing uh, on their behalf. And making constant some constantly win some money, and that's uh, that's most popular on the bigger sites. And uh, some people are even making the bots to sell them to somebody who can use them later on uh, as a commercial thing. Like you can buy a bot for like a few hundreds one time, or you want to pay a monthly fee for that. Uh, the bots are winning because they are able to be very patient and they always make the calm decisions. They cannot get uh, annoyed or, or, or worried about anything. So on the long term, they, they keep winning and, and, uh, and that's sucking out the money out of the, out of the prize pool. Uh, there's a two approach how to stop the bots. One of them will be detection and the other one prevention. Uh, if you want to just prevent, you can just throw, throw some uh, obstacles for the bots like a captcha you can put some uh, other features uh, that will prevent them from playing, like you can maybe uh, change something in the design because they are usually based on uh, uh, reading the, the screen. Uh, but that's, I think that the, the better pro approach is to detect them first because when you detect them and when you know for sure that, that uh, you have some bots on the site, uh, you will be able to learn how they, how they are working, uh, how they are uh, what they need in order to work. So after a few days or weeks, you will be able to, to know what, what they need to, to have in order to, to work on, on that particular site. So detection is a longer process, but at least you have, you have a feedback uh, of your success. You will know when you, when you succeed because you will first target, you will pinpoint the bots, you will know which accounts are used, and then after that you will be able to see if they, they stop playing on your site. 
so what we can do to prevent, just just to prevent, is uh, the dynamic capture. It's uh, uh, you will get uh, random questions uh, popped up for these players, and uh, you can even keep keep their score and and, and see see if you can. Uh, if, if uh, somebody has a, lo a lot of correct answers on the capture, you can stop annoying him for a while or maybe make it more rare, like uh, once a day or so. But if somebody has a low score, you can even, aside from blocking him, you can also make these capture questions more frequent. So he, he cannot be constantly be playing. He will be uh, prevented from playing. Uh, also, you can change your, your UI because bots are very depending on reading the screen, you, they will need to adapt every time you make a change in the font or, or, or button positions. It will take them some time to, to adjust. And, and so that's a, that's a good uh, prevention option too. Uh, and on the other side, on the detection, you can do a little more. So you will be able to detect who is a bot and who is not, and then you will see the patterns and you will learn which devices is used. Maybe it's not just the browser. Maybe he used a Windows app or something like that. In the poker world, you people you usually use uh, different apps, not just browsers. Uh, so uh, you can, uh, when you think you, you know who is the bot, you can up update your software and then track has the pattern of the play of these bots or this player changed. If he's, if he, if he's played less frequently, then you probably succeeded. Or you can even make a, a real-time uh, buzz to the bot. Like uh, you can target just the one player and send him some, some capture to solve at a certain time. So you, while you are looking at him, you will be able to see if, if, he, is, uh, if he immediately stopped playing after that. Uh, so later on, this should be based on the stats as well. So you can you can have in your you can read how many uh, hands he was able to play without a break uh, or without a timeout. Usually the normal players uh, got got uh, distracted and they they lose uh, their time to play in the poker, which is like a 10 20 seconds, and then they they timed out. Uh, usually bots never time out because they they they, they cannot get uh, uh, distracted. Uh, yeah, I, I think I have a, a little time, so I will speed up. Uh, so uh, the, uh, there are three other ways to stop the bots. Uh, the Hold'em version of poker is prob probably solved because it has a low, less parameters, but some other different complicated games are not. So you can also uh, put some new, new, new games there. Uh, you can make them a mix. So, you, so the each few rounds of the poker, you, you get uh, different games, which is uh, a problem for a bot. Uh, adding more parameters to the current game is also good. Uh, like uh, every time you add some new feature that, uh, that the player can use, uh, uh, during the, you change a little bit your, your, your poker rules, uh, it will be a, a problem for, for a bot to, to solve. It will maybe take them a weeks or months. And uh, also, you can block some particular platforms. If, uh, if uh, you think bots are mostly using the Windows app, you can block, uh, for the suspicious players, you can block, the, block them from using the Windows and, and force them to use some mobile apps, for example. And since I have 30 seconds left, I can maybe uh, fill out the, the gaps I, I missed, I skipped. Uh, so uh, there is a... a Trend in the poker where where they are adding some superpowers to the to the players. They can they can cast some some magical things like remove a card or something. So which is maybe shifting the poker more to the fun zone. Uh, these these additional parameters are all, are stopping bots from uh, learning the the game easily. Uh, and uh, and that will be also fun to uh, improve the poker in the future and maybe bring the new generation to it.